Hi, today I'm going to show you about Google Rooms, which is a new feature that has been unlocked for staff and is integrated in Gmail. Basically, you can create a room to communicate and collaborate with any other teachers or admin, for example, your grade level team or even the entire staff or with teachers across the school district. If someone else creates a room and invites you, you would receive an email that kind of looks like this, where it tells you the name of the room and that you've been added. And you will see the room over here on the left side of your Gmail. You can also create your own room by going down here where it says rooms and clicking on that plus button and then click on create room. So for example, I'm going to make a room for bilingual collaboration. And you could choose uh, an icon for your room that will appear here on the side next to the names. Or you could choose to do that later. In this field here, it says enter name or email of person or group. So I could click in there and start entering the names of people that I would like to add to this group. And then once you're done adding names, make sure that this box is selected to notify people via email. And then click create. Another way that you can add members is by going to add people right here and then enter their email addresses. Make sure the box is checked so that they get an email notification and click send. And the last place that you can add people is if you go to the top here where the name of the room is, you can click on add people and then follow the same steps. Now that I've added people, I can uh, see that there's three members. I can click here to see some more options. So if I go to view members, I can always click on the three dots here and remove someone from the room. Also, anybody uh, can go and leave the room if they want to. And if they leave, they can always choose to rejoin later on. Um, if you do leave a room and then you want to rejoin, you can always go to this plus sign here and browse rooms. And you'll see uh, listed here any rooms that you've ever been invited to or that have been a member of. Now let's see how to use your room to collaborate. So basically there's three tabs. Chat is probably the place where you'll be the most. Files is where you can find any files that are shared with the group. And tasks is where you can assign tasks to anyone in this room. Um, so in chat, I can click on new thread to add something here. So I'm just going to say this is a test. And then you could click enter or you could click this little arrow here. You can also add emojis and then click send. You could click here to upload a file from your computer. It could be a picture, video, a GIF, a PDF, anything. So for example, I'm going to try putting this PDF in here. And then I can click send. Now if I look over here on files, I should see that file because I shared it with the group. So people can always go to files to access anything you've shared in the chat. Another option in the reply field is that you can add something from Google Drive. And so for example, I'll go to my recent here. I know I made a copy of something um, that I want to share. So I'm going to go to this file and then select. And if it's a file that you haven't changed the share settings to, if it's right now private and people with the link can't view it. Um, when I click on send here, it'll prompt me to change the share settings. So if you've set it up in advance, it'll just post. But if I haven't allowed the people in this room to access here, I can either turn link sharing on or I can share with just the room members and then I could choose what they can do with this file and then click send. So then if I go to files here, anybody could click on that file and open it up and edit. And last of all, if I go back to the chat and click in this reply field, I can also create a Google Meet um, so that people can click in here and we could be talking to each other in the Meet while collaborating. So I'm going to post this. So now that I've add, added this meeting, people might start joining and I'll go ahead and click here to join as well. And then I'll join. And so I could maybe put this off to the side. I'm going to kind of do a split screen here. And then at the same time, I could go over to my room and go to files and open up one of those files. 
So once I open up that file, I could be collaborating with my colleagues over here over Meet. And then we could also be editing a slide or a doc wherever you'd like to collaborate. If your screen is really small and this uh, split screen kind of doesn't work for you, um, one extension you could add that I think is kind of cool is this picture in picture extension by Google. Basically, if I'm here in my Meet and I click on the extension, it puts it in picture in picture mode. So I could then move this little box over whatever I want to be working on, and then I could make this bigger. So if my screen had been too squished and I couldn't see everything in my doc or my slide, then maybe picture in picture mode works for you. And you could always move this out of the way wherever you want. And when you're done using it, you just click the little X and um, the meeting would still be open. So you don't have to still go here and leave the meeting. So uh, back in my room here, you might notice that all of these um, were in one thread. So a thread basically groups your conversation. So if I wanted to start another topic, I could say new thread. So maybe I want to ask my group, uh, does anyone have any bilingual resources for Seesaw? And then I could post there. So then maybe people would reply here to answer this question. Whatever I post, I could go, if I mouse over what I wrote, I get a few different options here on the right. So I could add a reaction. Uh, so maybe I'm going to say thumbs up. Or I could actually add this to my inbox. So maybe it's something I want to remind myself about later. Um, I could edit what I wrote or I could delete it. But if it's a post that someone else did, like here my friend Cynthia wrote hi, then I only get two options. I can add a reaction. Um, oops, here she is. Or I could send to my inbox as well. If I don't want to receive any more notifications about this, I can click uh, here to unfollow. Right now I could always turn it back on by clicking follow again. And if you want to turn off uh, notifications completely, you could go over to the name of the group to the three dots and turn off notifications, um, except for at when people use at to tag you. So um, you can definitely do that if I go here. Um, let's say here, does anyone have any bilingual resources for Seesaw? I can tag my friend um, Evelyn here and then type a message or just even click send. And then a little arrow or click enter. And then Evelyn would receive an email and she would also see a notification pop up. And so the way it works, if you're not in the room already and you go to your inbox, you'll see a little pop up on the bottom right corner that opens up kind of like the chat. And so people could see there's a message. And then also on the left, you would see a little red dot on the name of the room showing you that there's more messages going on in that room. Unfortunately, you can't delete a whole thread. Um, people can only delete their own comments. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. So I'll click on the little trash can and click delete. And I'll also delete this one that I posted. Last of all, let's look at tasks. So basically, this is where you could create a to do list and assign it to people. So if I click on add room task, then I could say, for example, uh, create spelling test, and I'm going to assign that to Evelyn. I could si assign it to anybody that belongs to this room. You could add a date and a time if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and click add. You could also add a description here if I click on add details, but I'm going to just leave it like that. I'm going to just add another one. I uh, create slides presentation, and this time I'll assign it to me. Uh, myself so that you could see what that looks like. I'm going to also add a date for this one. So maybe I want this done by the 26th and then I'll add a time as well. So now I can see that there's a due date for that. And to make it um, to finish posting, I'll have to click add right here. Now, one thing to note is when you create a task, it will notify whoever the task was assigned to and it'll also appear in the chat. So here in the chat, I could see who created the task and who it was assigned to. When a task is complete, anybody in the room can click to mark it as complete. So you just click and then it disappears from the list and it goes down here to completed. If this is in the way, you can always close that by clicking on this little carrot here to hide or you could expand it back. 
another thing I wanted to show that if you actually use tasks here in Gmail, like I do, I write everything on my to-do list here. Uh, when you add a task in rooms, it'll appear in your tasks bar. And so now I could see here, create slides presentation in this room and it's due on this date. And when I'm done with it, I could just check it off here. Let me just refresh here. And now that I've refreshed the page, I could see that when I marked it as complete in my tasks, it also marked it as complete in my room. And that's all you need to know to get started collaborating in rooms. Enjoy.